Once again, only adults disappeared, leaving children behind. Around the world, this is the fifth mysterious abduction in the past three weeks. Missing adults, abandoned children. In Alaska, Mexico, Siberia, Canada, and Australia, governments... Show yourself! Now! Been looking for you all day. Gotcha! will come to harm in this jungle. Good on you, mate. What is that plan anyway? Stink Blossom. Yuck. You should have hit more pods.
broke my wrist again. We put this net here. You did. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? Action man! No! Who's the good kitty, kitty, kitty? <coughs> oh. Oh. Fish breath. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I trust you're not hurt. I'm fine, Red Wolf, but I know someone who needs a breath mint. Boss dude, next time we need to give this little ripper a bath, let's drive him through a car wash in a convertible. Flint, we're the action force. So we need to practice working as a team, every chance we get. And I say you're all doing a splendid job. Absolutely first-rate teamwork, Action Man. And your skill with animals is truly remarkable. Thanks, Sir Arthur. No question, but this fine beast is fully recovered from his injury and is ready to rejoin his family at the Wild Animal Park. We're always happy to help a worthy cause. I'll have the van brought round the main gate. You give Stripes his bath, and I'll see you back there within the hour. Very good, sir. So, uh, which end do you want? Hmm. This isn't the usual van. That is no concern of yours, Sir Arthur. But you'll be transporting a very active tiger. No. Today, my cargo will not be active at all. See here, who do you think you are speaking to me in that tone? Who do I think I am, Sir Arthur? No face! In the flesh. At least what little I have left of it. You're a wanted criminal! I... Ah! Please try again. Hmm. A van was here only minutes ago with a driver and one passenger. I don't get it. Why'd Sir Artie leave without his precious Tiggy? He might not have had a choice. This is Sir Arthur's mobile. What a little beauty. I've never seen one like it. It's government issue, Flint, with a few top secret functions. So how do you know all about them? My father helped invent the first model. What is it? An urgent text message just came in from the ISD. ISD? The Department of International Scientific Defense? Sir Artie's their big cheese, right? He is, but he never had a chance to read this. So what's it say? That I should treat the action force to a day at the zoo. I can't tell you what I don't know. I never saw what hit me. Too bad that security tape doesn't show anything. You mean it doesn't show anything yet? Have a go at that. It's a UCO. Unidentified creepy object. Nothing unidentified about it, Flint. That's X technology. It can't be, Action Man. Dr. X was destroyed when you blew up his missile base. Something's wrong in the bear enclosure. Tranquilizer darts. We have to get rid of them, or he'll hurt himself. Not our usual line of work, but the Action Force will give it a go. We will? We will. Stay calm, my friend. That's right. You have nothing to fear. What about the rest of us? There. You'll be better now. Yo, I am. Check this out. Careful, Flint. That's a bio extractor. Bio, excuse me? Thanks, 
boss dude, great save. No one is safe now, Flint. And this is the proof. Dr. X is back. <laughs> A peeping Tom. Am I right? Or am I right, Sir Arthur? <sighs> what happened? Dr. X! What is this place? It's my extermination base, you fool! But Snap and I want you to think of it as your new home. Who the blazes is Snap? Take a wild guess. <sighs> this can't be real. I must be dreaming. I don't do dreams. I do nightmares. No face. Start the demonstration. Unit 212, prepare the source material. And when no face says source material, he means victim. Hand me the Toxitron. All right, we got eggs. Ah, exquisite, isn't it? My toxic troopers are genetically programmed to obey whoever wields the Toxitron. And that means me, because... Uh, Dr. X, what species do you want me to use? You interrupted me. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Arctic Wolf, then. I'd explain my technique for extracting animal DNA, but you'd never understand my genius. And I am a genius, you know, extraordinarily intelligent. And excessively windy. Your choice. No more small talk. What have you done to that poor devil? He's a toxic trooper now, thanks to a little Arctic wolf DNA and my new terror toxin. Here's the big picture for your little mind. In mere days, I'll be spraying that terror toxin over any city, any country I want creating an unstoppable army of toxic troopers who will do anything I tell them to. And your pathetic Department of International Scientific Defense can't do a thing to stop me because you, their leader, will be working for me. If you think I'm going to help you, you're a stark raving loony. Foolish words, Sir Arthur. No thanks. Prepare another cylinder for my extra special victim. What? You see, Sir Arthur, since you can't beat me, you will join me. <laughs> Action man, I still don't get how you can add two and two together and get four. Uh, Flint, two plus two is four. I know that. What I mean is, what you're saying just doesn't add up. It does to me. Dr. X had something to do with whatever happened at the zoo. And I know he's responsible for Sir Arthur's disappearance. But even if that's true, Action Man, are you certain you're following the right path now? Yeah, boss dude. I mean, you said you'd never go back to the ISD. But you don't need them anymore. Dr. X has kidnapped Sir Arthur. That means the Department of International Scientific Defense needs me. Bring me more mealy worms. Uh, does Snap want more snackies? <laughs> S 
something else, Snowface? Well, there is one small thing. It had better be extremely small. It would be a waste to transform Sir Arthur before he is needed. And since we are not yet ready to begin mass toxification of civilian... <laughs> Professor Gangring's electro launcher for my Terra Toxie will be finished on time! He promised me! And you know what happens to fools who don't keep their promises to me. They do not get to keep their noses either. Who knows? If Gangreen doesn't report him soon, you might have to loan him a set of your bandages. <laughs> This is Professor Gangry calling all ex-robots. Report, you cybernetic sycophants. Time is running out. Unit 310, reporting launch status is prime. Unit 618, report. Unit 618, reporting target status is prime. Stand by, 618. All ex-robots, prepare for launch in five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Unit six one eight, report. Unit six. One it reporting nothing to report. The sun shines, the breeze is cool, weather category pleasant. No cares about that! Can you see the payload? Payload sighted. It is descending. Speed is considerable. Targeting is precise. Payload should blast this unit into smither beams in less than. A minute more, and Dr. X would have blasted me to smithereens. Phone! Thank you. Hello. You have reached the Secret World Domination Headquarters of Dr. X. Unfortunately, we can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and number at the tone, we'll return the call as soon as possible. Dr. X! Don't oh, hate these machines! Dr. X! Pick up! Pick up! Gangrene? What took you so long? I was just about to order your extinction! A thousand apologies, oh great leader! The Electro Launcher is a total success! Excellent news! Begin launching Teratoxin immediately! that I would ever disagree with the future ruler of the world. But we can't do that until all the ISD spy satellites are switched off. Otherwise, as soon as we launch the first payload full of Teratoxin, they'll know precisely where to hit us. Is that all? I have already calculated exactly how to turn off every ISD spy satellite at once! You have? And then... Once you shut down those satellites, the world is yours! Now, about that money you promised me... Ow! Oh! Brilliant blob of biosynthetic... No face! <laughs> you bellowed? I want you to go to London. Uh, and I want a new face. Then use this one. Why should I make myself look like Sir Arthur Strong? Two reasons. First, to get the satellite codes I need. And second, if you don't, Snap will snack on more than just your nose. <sighs> I'll pack my bags.
Action man, action man, action man. I've always hoped you'd come and work with us, especially after what happened to your parents. Good evening, Mr. W. But this wasn't quite what I had in mind, and I dare say my commandos would say the same, if they could speak. I take it there's a good reason for this rather dramatic entrance of yours. After all, here at the Department of International Scientific Defense, we do have telephones. I didn't have time to wait for an appointment. And that's because? I know what's happened to Sir Arthur Strong. And all the evidence points to only one possible suspect. Dr. X? <laughs> Quite impossible. You and your action force soundly defeated him. Blew up his base, as I recall. But all we found of Dr. X were bits and pieces of his biomechanical body. He could have left those behind to fool us. More important, his head was never found. Are you seriously suggesting Dr. X is back in a new body? Sir Arthur must have something Dr. X needs so he can do something terrible to the world again. I'm sorry, Action Man. Whatever's happened to Sir Arthur, we are quite satisfied that you destroyed Dr. X. What will it take to convince you I'm right? That Dr. X is back? Well, it would take something rather drastic to have us change our opinion. I mean... My word. Those are Dr. X's. X robots. Our shot stats don't work on them. We can't hold them back. Understood, Red Leader. Withdraw your forces and secure the door. Do you think that door will hold them? Can't hear them anymore. They must have given up. Can't let you boys have all the fun. We have to pull back to the lower levels. There's no way to stop them. Luckily for us, Dr. X never admits when he's made a mistake. And he made a big one with these robots. Follow me! They've got a weak spot. How come we can't hit it? You've got to hit their chest plates just right. Aim at the black spot. Stop them every time. That's it! Keep firing! This is Red Leader to all teams. Action Man has saved the day. Thanks, Action Man. We never would have kept them out without you. They weren't trying to get in. They're just a diversion, so someone else could break in unnoticed. This is Action Man calling Action Force. Prep the Electro Helicopter. I need backup. So much for scientific defense. Perfect. The satellite codes are all on one teeny car. Sir Arthur, good to see you back where you belong. Uh, well, hello. I must be going. But you just got here, and we have so much to talk about. Uh, uh, see here, I could have you exterminated. Uh, I mean, arrested. All right, whoever you really are. What did you take from Sir Arthur's safe? You'll either answer my question here, or in a holding cell. Ah, very well, Action Man. It seems I have no choice but to let you have it! <coughs> you stinky turnip! 
so you do not forget who has bested you, I leave you with a souvenir of our face to no face meeting. Face thinks he's taken me out. Wait until he's left headquarters and can't do any more damage. Then stand by to lead me to him. Message received and understood, action man. Like you said, I am. No dramas, no worries, no problemo. <sighs> I used to love the rush of night air on my face. Huh. When I had one. right in front of him. And fire! Ooh, lucky shot! No, uh, we got his motorcycle by accident, Flint. But no face got away. Not a chance, I am. How's a dude with a face like Fungus get away from the action force in the heart of London? That's right, action man. You and your action farce keep looking for no face. Because as soon as Dr. X uses these codes to shut down those satellites, you won't ever be looking for anything again. What am I to say to the Prime Minister? I'm sorry, Prime Minister. Action men broke the Millennium Dome, but promises never to do it again. We have to find out what no face stole from Sir Arthur's safe. A card with codes for our spy satellites. Code someone could use to turn them all off, and... Oh, no. Action Man, we've already lost one of our satellites. Over Antarctica. Then that's where Dr. X's new base must be. And where he's taken Sir Arthur. We are ready when you are, Action Man. Just say the word, boss dude. I am launching an all-out assault on Dr. X's Antarctic base. Do I have the support of the ISD? Of course. With one condition. You must take an ISD agent on your mission. What kind of agent? 
our best, and ISD's top expert in biochemistry. Oh, good. That'll help us figure out what Dr. X wanted with the zoo animals. What's the agent's code name? Rebel, front and center. You have a new assignment. Ah, there you are. Say hello to Action Man and his Action Force. Oh, I've heard all about Action Man. Well, good day, Rebel. Annabelle Strong. That's right. Rebel is Sir Arthur Strong's daughter. So she wants to stop Dr. X just as much as you do. Rebel. Welcome to the team. This is it, Action Force. We're on final approach to Dr. X's base. Are we go or no go? Red Wolf is go. Rebel is go. Blitz, feel free to check in sometime this week. Whoa! It's a sprint coming at ya. All systems are go, go, rubber. Arm your snow cannons. As soon as we cross the next ridge, Dr. X will know we're coming. Don't tell me that! Action Man! I told you not to tell me that! <sighs> we should join Professor Gangrene on the new X Island. We're finished here. Not until Sir Arthur Strong is ready to lead my toxic troopers! Uh, then how do we stop Action Man? We don't have to, because my first batch of toxic troopers will! This is Dr. X calling Unit Absolute Zero. Send out my snow wolves! Absolute Zero reporting. Snow wolves are prime. Human or animal? They're both Red Wolf. An unnatural hybrid of humans and animals. Whatever they are, we won't let them stop us from rescuing your father. Get set to fire snow cannons. Now! Listen, Frosty. No way a frozen metalhead can stop a hot-blooded guy like me. This unit will make your blood run cold. Chill out, dude. Malfunction. Malfunction. Looks like someone's running out of steam. Don't run off. At least give me a chance to break the ice again. Malfunction. 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 It's no business like snow business. <laughs> there are too many of those creatures to stop with just our snow cannons. Is there any way we can make a barrier to slow them down? Good idea, Rebel. If we increase the power to our ranging lasers, Red Wolf could do the rest. Aim for the ice directly in front of them. But the ranging lasers aren't strong enough to break up all that ice. Sometimes strength isn't all that's needed. Fire! Red Wolf! Get ready. I have found the weak point. Action, man! 
Nothing happened. Wait for it. That'll keep them on ice. Oh, don't tell me I missed the party. Don't worry, Flint. Things are just starting to heat up. Robots. Too many to go through, and the ice here is too thick to melt. Red Wolf, you keep them busy. Rebel, you and I are going in. Now they know we are attacking. That's the big idea, Wolfie. <laughs> when he sees his opening, he takes his shot. And the crowd goes wild! I think that got their attention. All units, attack! Is Flint always that crazy? Oh, he's not crazy. He's Australian. Uh... At last, Sir Arthur is prepared for his procedure. Give me the bio extractors from the zoo, all of them. But, Dr. X, you've never used that much terror toxin on a single subject. He might become too powerful, even for the Toxitron. I said all of them. Now! <laughs> and just to keep things interesting, I've saved the best for last. But, but Dr. X, that's your DNA. And Snaps, too. A little bit of savage face fighting, no sucking dragons, never hurt anyone, except for you. Open the cylinder. Oh, don't worry. At least when Dr. X is finished with you, you want me bandages. This is it, Sir Arthur. Total terror toxification. Not today, X. I don't know how you put yourself back together, but this time, I'll make sure you don't have any parts left over. You're all talk and no action. Coil crushers, crush them! So, action man and one lone commando, is that the best the ISD could do? You're finished, X. Look at my coil crushers. They're ordinary humans, toxified by boa constrictor. DNA. That's why you went after the animals at the zoo. They weren't ordinary animals. They were alphas, like me, the best of the best. And when I toxify an exemplary leader like Sir Arthur, I'll make the ultimate leader for my ultimate army of toxic troopers. You've taken people from their homes, parents from their children, changed them into monsters. Speaking of monsters... No face! Activate the magnetic induction field! Father. 
We have no choice, Rebel. We have to fight for our lives. Father, listen to me. Rebel, get out of there! Yes! One down. Only six billion to go, and Action Man is next! I do not need you to tell me what to do. Weak action man, you have no chance against me, just as the world will have no chance against my army of toxic troopers. Did he just say his army of toxic troopers? <sighs> Since my ears fell off, I don't feel so good. Action man, rebel. We can't hold off the extra ones much longer. We all have to leave. Have you found Sir Arthur? Rebel. Split! X has toxified Sir Arthur. Turned him into a monster. We are on our way! No, Red Wolf! You must not enter this base! It's too dangerous! You and Flint go back to ISD for reinforcements! Rebel and I need to find out how to cure her father, and the only way we can do that is to let ourselves be captured. Ah! Finish him. No, you won't. Action Man is mine. And I'll deal with him my way. Otherwise, I'll deal with you. Is that understood? Understood. For now. He reminds me of someone. Me too. You. At least you were able to return with a toxic troop where we can study, so we can try to make an antitoxin that will cure him. But to lose Sir Arthur and Action Man and Sir Arthur's daughter. They aren't lost. Action Man told us to leave them behind. Action Man and Rebel hope to discover how to reverse this evil process and save Sir Arthur. All we need from you, Mr. Dubby, is a few planes for backup. So Action Force can rip into X's base like a wombat into mud. You have the full resources of the ISD at your disposal. And pizza. L lots of pizza. Hey, it's a long flight to Antarctica. There is no door. hey -ya! Great move. Is that something they teach you in biochemistry? Huh, it's all in the wrist. Action Man, we're too late. They've taken my father and everything else. Maybe not. Great idea. I'm downloading every computer file I can find on how Dr. X's teratoxin works. If I can reverse the process, I can save my father and those poor people X kidnapped. And I'll stop Dr. X if it's the last thing I do. You're half right. Whatever you do in the next 10 seconds, it will be the last thing you ever do! Give up! You lose. I win. Brilliant! 
chance. The best time. Today is an extra good day. Well, I remember when I had a face. I had some pretty good days too. But since the radiation, and my ears falling off, and my lips, and then my... Suck it up, old prune. With my command of bioengineering, I could fashion a brand new face for you. You could? How do you think? I got this one. <laughs> Ugh. Thanks anyway. Forget about your face for once. Be happy. Action Man is gone forever. I have the codes I need to shut down the spy satellites and Tyrannotox to lead my toxic troopers. Uh, you're right. What more could one ask for? Complete and total domination of everyone and everything in the entire world. When do we launch? All payloads will be filled with the new Terra Toxin in 12 hours. After that, you may launch at will. It's my nightmare come true. <sighs> what an amazing escape action, man. Woo! And Dr. X lost his frozen fortress to boot. But since X destroyed his base in Antarctica, it means he must have another one somewhere else. Huh. I agree. And since he started to shut down our spy satellites, it must be a large base, easy to detect from above. That's it. That's how we locate his new base. We track the orbital inclinations of the satellites Dr. X attacks first. Um, say that again in English? The satellites Dr. X attacked first are the ones he is afraid will spot his new base. So, we just have to highlight the orbits of the satellites we've already lost, cross-reference them... ...and X marks the spot! Good heavens. That's a linear induction electro-launcher. Dr. X can use it to launch his teratoxin anywhere in the world. But... With what we've learned from the toxic trooper the Action Force captured, and the information Rebel downloaded from Dr. X's computer, we now know how to make an antitoxin. Anyone Dr. X transforms into a toxic trooper, we can change back. Even your father. I'm sorry, Mr. W. We can change them back in our lab, maybe a few hundred in the field. But not even the ISD can make enough antitoxin to save everyone in the world. Which means there's only one thing we can do to save your father, and everyone else. We have to destroy that launcher so Dr. X can't use it. We have to take action. Action Force, stand by for jet ski conversion. Standing by. Action Force, Orca Mode. Follow me. Action Man, Sonar has detected possible enemy action. Bearing 10 degrees east, depth 50 meters and rising. Acknowledged, Red Wolf. Let's check it out, team. Be alert, Action Man. Contact in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Contact! Action Force, break formation, X sharp. Action 
Action man! Why break off? We can slice it into sushi! Negative, Blitz. That shark's controlled by X technology. Dr. X has programmed it to fight. Action Man is right, Flint. We can't harm that poor shark. We have to free it. Action Man, it's behind you. Understood. I'm abandoning the Orca. Switching to dive gear. Wolf, string up a shock arrow. It's heading straight for you. I am ready for my deep sea friend. Look sharp, Red Wolf. Here he comes. Red Wolf, did you short circuit the X Tech mind controller? My aim was true, Action Man. Now it is up to the spirit of the shark. Redwell, it worked. The shark is free. Let's just hope he's not hungry, too. Time to scuttle the jet skis. We go the rest of the way undercover. Activating stealth mode. Part always gives me the creeps. Dr. X, all the toxin payloads are filled. We are ready to launch at your command. So do it. Launch the first payload. Now! Dr. X, I mean this in the most respectful way. But are you nuts? I told you, you can't launch anything until the last spy satellite is shut down. Otherwise, the ISD will blow up my launcher within the hour. So, when will the last satellite be shut down? Thirteen minutes. Thank you, Professor. Tyranotox, come with me. The instant the first payload launches, exterminate Professor Gagri. What's so funny about that? He already asked me to do the same to you. What? X has to shut down the last satellite before he can launch his terror toxin. That gives us 10 minutes to stop him. I can stop him in a half a second if I can get him in range. Just remember, X's toxic troopers are innocent civilians. We can't do anything to hurt them. Or Sir Arthur. We go in, we stop X, and we bring Sir Arthur home. Action Force! Where's my Toxitron? Uh, Dr. X, is something the matter? What makes you ask that? What have you heard? Only that Professor Gangrene asked Tyrannotox to exterminate you when the payload started launching. That's about it. Why? You know that? And you didn't tell me? Well, everybody always wants to exterminate you. They hate you so much. Who hates me? Everybody. Good. That's just the way I like it. <laughs> 
All right, Action Force, this is it. The ISD plane will be overhead in 30 seconds. Then we'll have five minutes to accomplish our mission. So what do you say, team? Three, two, one! Action! There's the antitoxin. Right on schedule. Hands on your ears, all! What has that mad Dr. X done now? Not Dr. X. Look! Oh! What is this? It's the ISD! <laughs> They've got an antitoxin! Action man behind this! No! I will not go back to being a weak and fragile human! I am a Tyrannotox! Whatever you say, big guy. The antitoxin isn't working on you. I wonder why. Then I can still rule the world! Simmer down, Tyranno Ox. You haven't got a chance. <laughs> Explain yourself. In four minutes, the payloads will start launching. That means Dr. X will have toxic troopers all over the world. And since he has the Toxatron, he gets to rule. Never! And the world must be mine. It will be mine. Double trouble. It's just what the world needs. Two Dr. X's. Oh, well. Maybe I can get my old job back at the nuclear waste dump. Because around here, looks like things are gonna get pretty... ugly! Red Wolf, Flint, get to the launch platform. Make certain there are no payloads ready for launching. Rebel, you and I will take the control room. I'm sure that's where your father is. Good luck, I am. I don't need good luck, Flint. Just good aim. What is wrong with this infernal machine? Gangrene set a timer. Oh, nothing can launch until the last satellite has been turned off. Three more minutes. I won't wait three more minutes. I want the world, and I want it now. I've got something for you right now. Not again. Your evil scheme is finished, X. Where's my father? This is not happening. All my hard work. Believe it, X. Nothing's going to get you out of this one. Oh, I can think of something that might. Something big. Dr. X is mine. Tyranatox, I made you. I can unmake you. Obey me or else. You will do as I say now. The whole world will do as I say. But I control the toxic run. And now I control you. <laughs> this isn't over. Where is everybody? The rescued civilians are safe on the beach. The ISD seaplanes will return them to their homes and families. But what about the baddies? First, we must shut down the launcher. We have... 48 seconds to figure out how. Then we can hunt baddies. Oh, one of these has to do something. You are too late, puny human. You have nothing left to fight for. You have lost your army of toxic troopers to our anti-toxin. But those payloads will make new armies for me. More toxic troopers than you can ever stop. Nothing's getting launched today. Father! You know this isn't right. Annabelle! Father, it's not too late. You can still fight what Dr. X has done to you. Fight? Yes. Fight with Dr. X! <laughs> Soon, new troopers, new armies, Freedom from me and no one else! And then I will 
Be sent to bed without your supper, you naughty boy. No! You will not escape me! Yes, he will! We got you sandwiched! I don't understand. The other toxic troopers were cured by the antitoxin. Why didn't it work on my father? Spark. Electricity. Of course. When Dr. X toxified your father, no face exposed him to a powerful electromagnetic field. Just like that launcher. Red Wolf, Flint, we have to get Tyranitox into the launch ring. I don't think I want to work for you anymore. I think I'd rather just go home. to be that happy, I should... Don't you dare snap at me. He's the one who's ruined everything, not me. Don't you an action man. Action man? No! Who's a good Komodo dragon, then? Traitor. Is that awful stage? Uh, I used more stinking flowers. <laughs> gotcha. What? Well done, Action Force. We'll take custody of Dr. X and see to it justice is served. He's all yours. But keep a close watch on him. Right. He's always got a few nasty tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> you fools! I have a perfect new plan. Next time, no one will stop me, not even Action Man. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, we saved the world from Dr. X's terror toxin. And we saved my father. But the battle for truth and justice continues. The battle can continue on Monday morning, mate. Tonight, we pass! Two, two, one.